Hello, darlings! I know my channel is focused on food and travel, but today I'm sharing a different side of me the artsy fartsy side. I give you a tour of my art room and show you some paintings I've been working on. Heads up, this space is、uh, kind of messy, so I do some cleaning and get a little distracted. Before the art room tour, allow me to do an explanatory intro. This,、uh, this area used to be the living room, but somehow it became an art room. Now, some people might be thinking, art? That's kind of random. Your channel is all about food and travel. However, long before I did YouTube, art was always present in my life. Growing up as an only child, I entertained myself by doing art. Even throughout elementary, middle school, and high school, I always had some sort of arts and crafts projects on the side at home. Sorry if I sound a little funny. Uh, sometimes uh, the Invisalign makes more like S sounds. <laughs> Then, for college, I went to art college. And when I went into YouTube and focused on food and travel, I always in the back of my mind and in my heart, I wanted to do art. But I just never gave myself the time and the space to do it. So, art has been, I would say, pretty suppressed for the past 10 years of my life. So, during this pandemic, there are some really hard feelings that came up. Some of my,、uh, not to get too in much in detail, but there is some past trauma that started boiling up. I thought I you know, healed from that, but during the pandemic, a lot of things. Started surfacing, and there will be days I wake up and I feel like really angry or really sad, or you know, just feelings of suffering came up. And I'm like, where is this coming from? It's just happening. And because of those hard feelings that came up during the pandemic, and I needed a way to express those feelings, I got back into art. And that's how my living room, one by one, started to collect more art supplies and canvases. When I first started doing art again on a regular basis, it was all about getting these negative feelings out. But now I'm just doing art because I want to. Like yesterday, I painted on this box all over for like four to five hours. I know, it took four to five hours. Now, the top part took like five minutes, but the sides took a really long time. I'm gonna add some clouds on this baby blue area. I might put another sky in the inside. Just before I reveal the whole art room,、uh, giving you a heads up, it's really messy. It's shamelessly messy. Like, I'm just showing you this space in its natural state, and I'm going to clean up during this video. Here we have pressed flowers, which I'm thinking to put into handmade paper. These are cutouts, and these cutouts,、uh, I usually like to put them on the canvas, and then I'll trace them. And right now, I'm trying to decide、uh, what to color them. This is a painting I'm working on. I did the first layer, but I'm not sure、uh, what to do with it next. A bunch of acrylic paints over here.、Uh, this one is a Liquitex Basics. I have a bunch more acrylic paints over here. I got some bigger tubes. I've got varnish, I've got GAC 100. Gesso, gesso. These are vitamin C pills expired. I'm thinking to make something with it. I don't know what yet. And I have all kinds of random stuff. For example, I have this jar of dried almond skin. What I did was I take a raw almonds, soak it, and I would peel off the skin and eat the main almond. And then I dried the skins and collected it. This is a practice canvas. These are all almond skins. Here we have a portable easel. You could pack it up and then it'll, you know, you could take it somewhere. This is something I've been working on for a while. It takes a really long time to develop these lines. So the bottom half I'm done, but I still need to work on the upper half. You might think, oh, this is not too many art supplies. There are more art supplies behind and under this couch. On the side, we have blank canvases, and then we have more blank canvases. This canvas I could sleep on, it's that big. Oh, this is one of my favorite paintings. This painting has a partner, it is this one.、Uh, the color palette is based on autumn leaves. 
can you see the shapes? They're kind of like flower silhouettes. These shapes are the negative shapes of these guys. I have cutouts somewhere. Uh, oh, I think it's this. I think these are the cutouts. And then I place these, I trace them onto the canvas. And then I filled it with like kind of, I like to call these raindrops. The paintings before this is behind the couch. Let me take you there. This is the painting that restarted my art journey at home. It looks like rain. It really helped me express my feelings. Kind of the doom and gloom vibes, but also kind of peaceful. Painted this in April and I called it Purple Rain on Winter Evening. I decided to make a four seasons, so I completed a collection. And this one is, must, this one must be autumn. So this one, I used some gold and silver. Here we have a spring, um, dark pink, and yeah, like light green. The last one, last but not least, is summer. Summer sunset. So these are kind of intense colors. Along the lines of seasonal rain, we've got some more rain. If you didn't notice, I love rain. So these are thicker paint strokes. I like doing abstract paintings, but I also do uh, non-abstract stuff too. More my sketchbook though. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the rest of this collection out. Oh, I really love this one. And the pink one. That's the full collection. Here we have a tableau ray. Uh, in just a bit, I'm going to organize my art room, put a bunch of supplies on here. Now here's some finished works. Uh, actually, some of them is not finished. Uh, this is one of my favorites. These shapes come from cutouts. Sometimes I know what colors I want to use before I start painting. Other times I, you know, like I would start changing it up. I'll be like, you know what? I actually want to add some green in it. Or like, I want to add some yellow in the pink part. So which is what I did. I have a bunch of these style of paintings. Here's another one down here. This one's not finished yet. But part of that family is this painting. Uh, can you tell? This one's also based on autumn colors. It's like looking at clouds. Now you got these like abstract shapes and you try to figure out what they look like. So to me, that kind of looks like an animal. And this one kind of looks like a high heel if you turn it to the side. What do you see when you look at clouds? That, that depends on you, the viewer. It might look quite simple, but the larger the canvas, because there's a lot of those like uh, brush strokes, the larger the canvas, it takes way longer to complete. So it takes a lot of patience. When you rush, it shows through the brush stroke. Oh, I see a canvas behind this canvas. Uh, I don't know what it is. I can't remember what I put there. Aha! Uh -huh. So this one, the base, is just a bunch of uh, colorful strokes. I had no idea what I wanted to do with the canvas, and I was feeling frustrated. So I just put all kinds of color as the base. And then, I took my cutout shapes, you know, the paper cutouts, and I traced it. I arranged it in a way that I felt, you know, I felt right. Now, this is not finished painting either. Random note, this shirt, it might look a little extra for some people, but I like it because I feel like a flower, like this. This is a flower when it's not opened yet, but boom. I am bloomed now, says the flower. You see what I mean? Does, this is just me or does it look like a flower? Okay, back to the tour. Behind this painting, Ooh, this one feels so passionate. I really like the colors of this. Mm, I always think of the desert when I look at this one. And I love how that blue pops out of that tan. This one, I think I called it like um, Vibrant Souls on a Rainy Day. Now this piece, I'm still working on it. They are kind of like uh, creatures. This one looks like a bird. Now, next door, we have smaller paintings. All right, so I always think of this one as ketchup and mustard. 
and these guys are studies. Now, what happened is this painting is the second generation. It kind of looks like coral, kind of looks like brain. Not sure what the colors are going to be yet. But anyways, this is the uh, first generation of that painting. So, uh, okay, here we have a portrait when I felt very dark during the pandemic times. And it's not a portrait that is supposed to look like me 100%, but it definitely looked like my feelings. This painting is very casual, uh, just made up of leftover paints. Now this is another leftover paint painting. This one too, leftover paint. This one is uh, unfinished. I have a lot of unfinished paintings. This is a piece my aunt asked to make. My aunt wanted a painting of sunflowers because they symbolize prosperity, uh, or so I was told. I, I don't know exactly wh where I want to go with it, but uh, that's the basic idea. Now these books, I put flowers, like petals in there, so they're drying. So I'm excited to get more like pressed leaves and pressed flowers. In here, I have a... Uh, what is in here? I don't even remember anymore. I have stuff. So I have my watercolor here somewhere. Okay, so this is my watercolor palette. And I would mix the colors and then put it on this paper to see what it looks like. And then, I usually do my uh, watercolor in this notebook. And this notebook uh, has thicker paper, so it's made for watercolor. At some point, I want to give you guys like a, a sketchbook tour. So maybe I shouldn't show you too much of this. You know, gotta, gotta, you know, keep it a little mystery. So you have something to look forward to in the future. All right, what's this? This is another watercolor piece. Here's another piece. These are all my uh, cutouts. All right, these must be the shapes that I use for this painting. Here we have a fork that I wrapped in thread. And I'm working on a spoon as well. Okay, put that one away. What's in this one? Uh, here's another painting I started, uh, yet to finish. Here we have alcohol inks. The paintings, it's in my office. I'll show you that in a bit. I had these since I was like a kid. And I know I had it for a really long time because if I wrote in that font, that's a long time ago. I have a bunch of other supplies here. <gasps> That's where it was! I totally forgot I had this and I bought more personal color. This is typically where I sit to do my art. Typically. What's this, you ask? These pieces are left over paint. And I'm gonna collect a bunch more and then, uh, you know, like stick them close together. This paint comes from this palette. After the paint dries, I'll peel it off. Now it's a little bit spherical, so they kind of curve. So I have to like rip them and straighten them out. Welcome to my office. Yes, it's August as I film this video and my Christmas tree is still up. Happy nine month anniversary, darling. There are two reasons why I keep this Christmas tree up. One, uh, I'm going to grow mushrooms out of it, but there are so many other projects I'm working on, I haven't got to it yet. And then second, it smells really good. Every time I walk in this office, I'm like... <sighs> I brought you to my office because I'm gonna show you some alcohol ink paintings. I've got a lot of alcohol ink paintings, so I'm just going to show you some of my favorites or whatever ones are on the top here. The reason I love working with alcohol ink is you just let go of control. You just let gravity, the ink, do its work. And I could be perfectionist, so this helps me exercise in letting go of perfectionism and just letting what happened just happen. See, I didn't like that one. I tried to control that one. Next to my Christmas tree and desk, is a box of shells. These shells are the ones I foraged from for another video I made 
um, butter clam shells. My whole plan was to paint on these. I gotta put a gesso on it and then paint on it and then seal it. It's been over a year these guys have been sitting here. I have yet to develop this project. I have too many projects going on. And all at the same time, I gotta make YouTube videos. Uh, this is my sketchbook. I try to work on it every day. Lately, I've been pretty good about working on it at least 10 minutes a day. I'm planning to do a sketchbook tour and show you guys everything I drew in here. Uh, so I don't want to show you too much from this journal, sketchbook, whatever you want to call it. But I will show you uh, one page. And one page is not going to give anything away because I'm like experimenting with all kinds of styles, not trying to experiment with different styles. I would prefer to have one style, but I just end up doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, so let me show you one page. Uh, okay, this is not my favorite page, but it's a fun page. I initially began this page trying to focus on fun glasses. So here we have a fish man, a squid woman, and then gooey duck man. With the sketchbook and with uh, art making in general, you know, I tend to be a perfectionist in everything I do. So I try to let go and just play and have fun and not focus on like not caring too much about what it looks like but just kind of like going with the flow that's what i've been trying to do and just really like traveling through the colors and shapes you know because i haven't been physically traveling to other countries that's what i've been doing i've been making my own world and going through that you know through these colors these shapes these textures lunch break and then we clean up the art room and a little dessert blueberry tart. It's about one eighth of the tart. I'm turning out the lights so I could dream And when you smile through the screen I wish you could be with me So I lay my head to rest When the sun is rising I'll start a brand new day When the moon is shining Closing your eyes, I will be beside you And my heart will glide across the miles To fly right to you Cause when I dive into the traffic The echo of your voice is all I hear I'm never tired of your laughing so far But ever so near Let's see how long it stays this neat. For now, let's celebrate the cleanliness. Woohoo! Mamio swung by and reorganized some furniture. Subtle changes, but can you spot the difference? And just between you and me, still got a plenty of stuff behind and under the couch. Hope you enjoyed this art content. Stay tuned for local travel videos. I'll share updates on my paintings and other creative projects here and there. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. I have a lot of things on my mind that I want to share with you. And sometimes when I talk about one thing, I start branching out to something else. And then that branch goes into like another mini branch. So I'm going to try to stay focused as much as I can. There are some things I just collect and I want to make something with them, but I don't know what. So I just let them kind of sit around and let ideas ferment. This camera just shut down on me because it says the internal temperature got too hot. So now I'm gonna go to my older vlog camera and continue about this uh, conversation. My mom got this giraffe from a garage sale. I got this from somewhere. And then this, my uh, childhood friend made it for me. And look, isn't it pretty? It's not a real flower, but it looks so nice. So this setup is a trio teamwork. So we have a canvas there, a bunch of canvases over there, 
At some point, I want to make my own canvas, you know, stretch them myself. Um, but I probably need to buy a lot more other tools. So yeah, see, I'm gonna have a lot of canvases. I usually just buy them on sale. That's why I have so many. I buy them in advance. What else is here? I have a bunch of COVID masks. I feel like it's such a waste to throw them away. So I'm gonna sanitize them and make something with it. I don't know what, I don't know what, but something, some ideas will ferment at some point, I'm hoping. Oh, I got some more canvases, unfinished paintings. I use this canvas to practice um, how I wanna make my signature. You know, I read online, like they recommend signing your work. I wanna show you what's under this couch. Why am I sweating? I feel like I'm working out. So I'm trying to like keep a good balance of doing my art and somehow incorporating art into this YouTube channel in a way that makes sense. Um, I don't want this channel to all be about art. Wait, did that sound weird? My English is getting pretty bad. I was born and raised in USA, but you know, when I don't practice talking to people, my speech, the skills go down. And during this pandemic, uh, social skills have gone down a lot, like a lot. You know, before the pandemic, I was a little bit socially awkward. In some situations, depending on the chemistry of the people, it's totally fine and we could all have a good time. But in certain situations, I feel so awkward and then I don't know what to say and then I say weird things. Um, yeah, so I feel like the awkwardness, awkward skills have gone up <laughs> during this pandemic. Like socializing is a practice and some people are just naturally better at it, you know? Um, uh, uh, yeah. And just for fun, let's fly a drone in the house. Uh, not the best idea because papers and stuff went flying around, but it felt kind of magical. Like a wizard casting a dramatic spell and a storm building up. Did some cleaning, set up the space for a thumbnail photo, and then we shall clean some more. <laughs>